So the second theme is the equivalent of neuroplasticity, but in the realm of genomics. And uh, this is the theme of epigenetics. And epigenetics is the science of how genes are regulated. And it turns out, uh, as I'm sure uh, many of you know in the audience, that genes have uh, mechanisms that can influence the extent to which they are expressed, the extent to which they are turned on or turned off. And there are many factors in the environment that can influence the extent to which genes are turned on and turned off. So, for example, we know from modern hard-nosed neuroscientific evidence that the way a mother behaves toward her child, toward her offspring, can influence, can induce epigenetic changes in the brains of that offspring that can persist for the duration of the life of that offspring. So um, a mother who is more nurturant and loving toward her offspring will induce epigenetic changes in the brains of the offspring in ways that endure. And in fact, in very recent research, we've learned that these changes that are induced epigenetically can actually be passed down to at least a couple of generations. Now, at one point, not too long ago, this was regarded as heresy, as kind of science fiction. But, and this is not fringe science. This stuff is published in the very best scientific journals in the world. Uh, and so, uh, this also is something that is really quite remarkable and leads to the possibility and the invitation that engaging in the kind of contemplative practices that Rinpoche has introduced to us can actually induce changes in our genes, in, in, the, in gene expression, in epigenetics. And uh, we published a paper not too long ago showing for the first time that if we bring uh, practitioners into the laboratory who have a regular minimum of a 10-year practice of meditation and have them meditate for a full day, and simply take a blood sample in the morning and then take a second blood sample at the end of the day after they've spent a day meditating, we actually see a measurable change in gene expression and also a change in epigenetics in the um, factors that regulate gene expression. Uh, and that is observable within eight hours. When we first proposed that experiment, some people thought we were really uh, completely naive uh, and that the idea that we can see an induced change in this way in such a short period of time was unrealistic. Uh, and yet, uh, the data speak for themselves, and there are more and more studies of this kind that are coming down the pike and that we'll see in the mainstream scientific literature. Uh, and this, again, suggests that there's a lot more plasticity in these systems than uh, we initially thought was possible.